What's happening, man? T.I.P. Hustle Gang here, Huncho, man. Let you know you're watching Hard Knock TV, all right? Don't be blowing me up, nigga. I ain't getting no. up. If it ain't about the money, ain't no use to you I ringing my line. line. Stop wasting my time. If it ain't about the money, nah, I can't even hear what you say. I ain't finna do shit. If it ain't about the money, bitch, you can miss me with it. Bitch, nigga, miss me with it. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, what can you tell me about the new album, Paperwork? I can tell you that it has been my life's passion for the past two years. And um, basically, my, my definite intention was to, to take everything that people had grown to love about T.I. and infuse it with new things that people could learn to love about T.I. Pharrell executive produced it with us. And man, Pharrell, is, uh, he's, been a, he's been a friend and... and, and uh, a friend and colleague for quite some time. Uh, he's always just been incredibly supportive and uh, just an inspiration from 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 an artist standpoint, man. For uh, since my first, since my very 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 first album, he gave the project wings. You know what I'm saying? I anchored it down, and he gave it wings. So you know, we balance each other out very well. His first piece of input, however, was that it had to be visual it had to be something that that keep people in on 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 my lifestyle my environment my habitat the things that went on around me the reasons why i am the way i am today and basically you know the makings of 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 the man that you know is ti Paperwork, by definition, is uh, the certification of items that are authentic. Uh, like if you were to buy a watch, you would, you know, you'd look in the box and look for a certificate of authenticity. If you were to buy a car, you'd look for a title. If you were to buy a house, you'd want a deed. If you make a purchase at a store, you want a receipt. These are all pieces of paperwork. So me being an artist of authenticity and me making music that is considered at the very least the utmost authentic, I felt that my certification should come by way of paperwork. Now I heard that there's a trilogy involved. How does that fit into the concepts of the album? Yeah, we made so much music, man. It's so diverse and it's so from one place to the next that we felt that instead of, we could have made one album that we divided into three sections, but it was going to be incredibly long. Or we would have, uh, we would have to had to take taken those three sections and made those three separate projects. You recorded like 250 songs for that? We there? did like 200 and some times. That's crazy. Yeah, I compared it to a few projects simply because it took the the, the sounds of yesteryear, the, the the classic historical sounds that we know from soul, R and B, funk hip-hop or whatever from yesteryear and infused it with sounds that we can expect to hear tomorrow and in the future the way that the chronic did the way that outcast southern playlist did the way that ugk riding dirty did the way that jay-z blueprint did um uh doggy style from snoop i mean it's you know it's just certain certain records you can hear that they were influenced, although they were influenced by the past, by sounds of the past, they were inspired and motivated and, and, and the whole overview of the album was upheld by a futuristic thought. Home of the brave and free. Well damn, officer, what I do? Free just to murder me. Now hold on, man, don't shoot, I live over there. Land of the beautiful. Hey, hey man, what you doing, man? Cursed by the hate we throw. You tripping, dog? Tell me a little bit about a uh, new national anthem. What, what was the the mindset going into that? What inspired you to make that song? New national anthem was inspired by the, by the state of the nation. Um, I think that where we are right now as a country in America, I think that you know you have voices that have not been heard, and you have voices that are kind of trying to drown out the voices that are not able to be heard, and it seems as though there's a cycle of chaos and and, and confusion that continues to repeat itself. Uh, I actually recorded the song shortly thereafter the Trayvon Martin incident and 
I kind of just held the song, waiting on the album to be released, and then the Mike Brown tragedy happened, and I felt I, I was compelled to release it. Mm -hmm. 